Hey, I'm Andy. I'm John. We are Community Gum, and this is a case of Bowman Draft 2011 style. It's going to be a fresh case here. Right. The uh, the other thing with the, the draft picks I wanted to mention is like this will probably be one of the the last good classes thanks to the new collective bargaining agreement. There's been a lot of debate as to um, how the much that will eat your face, how much that will dilute the market or delete the, the farm systems, and there's the rest of the boxes that we'll put to the side. Right, so yeah, the, the new collective bargaining, bargaining agreement basically ensures that the Royals will never win a World Series. Um, it, uh, you know, anyway, we've all got opinions. Right. My opinion is that uh, a guy's first baseball card should be his rookie card. Well, that's weird. That is, is that weird. supposed to be that way? I think so. Huh. I don't think it is. You know, I'm going to sit around. Um, seven cards, but there are only two that anybody cares about. Meaning the autograph one? No, no, the... Uh, and the Bryce Harper? Per pack. Two per pack, which are the two chrome cards oh. per pack. Right. Um, I saw the retail of this today. Same configuration. Seven cards, five uh, base that... Uh, I mean, I think people just throw away. Not us. No, not us. I mean, I'm, I'm not that guy. Hey, I got a good one already on the back. That's good, because I have no idea who is the good one. I, I, I know, like, I really the first don't. three draft picks. So here's a, your basic uh, rookie card. These get the green, just like in regular Bowman. It's Brian Broderick. Didn't hear about his rookie debut. Um, there's been a debate. I don't know if it's a debate or not. People are saying that the, the Bowman cards, the regular non curl and prospect cards, are actually a printing error, and that the uh, the back side, which has the white, should have been on the front and vice versa. And as a comparison, the chrome ones are white on the front, but they aren't black on the back, so I don't know how much weight that argument has. Make your own decision. So, this Typically, is... those have been white fronts and black backs, is, is the reason why people are saying that. This is a confusing set to me, so already... Yeah, it's all confused. Yeah. Here's here's the good one I got. It was Sonny Gray. That is a prospect card, not a rookie card. He uh, has not played in a professional game, though he's wearing a. Uh, or has not played in the major league game, though he's wearing a major league uniform. Um, so anyway, I'll stop complaining about that now and just try to enjoy it. Um, are th are the front cards just rookies always? Seems to be, so okay. far, for me. Okay. Well, they're also rookies I've never heard of, too. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Rex Brothers for the Rockies and Michael Clayto. Michael is spelled M-A-I-K-E-L. Clayto. Um, I've never heard of either of those, but those are my rookies in the pack. I guess I could show them, but I'm not going to. Got a refractor of Alex White for the Rockies, another rookie that I uh, don't know. <laughs> but I also don't. Follow the yep. Rockies. Here are two uh, rookies I don't know. And Yuri Rodriguez and Eric Fryer. No clue. Brandon Geyer. Here's a, I'll show a Chrome rookie just because we're getting basically one in a pack here. Uh, Brandon Geyer is, or Boyer, or Geyer, however you pronounce it, used to be a Cubs prospect mm -hmm. and was traded in the Matt Garza trade. Yep. Uh, so. Also in this product is the USA Baseball cards. So these are people who were born in like the mid 90s who all have baseball cards now. Uh, this guy is Arden Pabst, so obviously a, a Blue Ribbon USA prospect. I get it. Yeah! You guys, anyone can use that one. Please. Take this joke. Please. Alright, Brandon Kinsler and Joe Demers are my chromies in that one. And uh, some prospects, uh, once again, I've never heard of. Something else to mention is uh, this is one of the first years where some of the prospects don't have facsimile autos on the bottom. Uh, you can see on this next USA card that it does, but some of them do not. Hmm. Don't know where the distinction comes from and who gets them and who doesn't, but um, I don't know. Joel Carino and Trevor Story. Um, don't know those guys. But those are my uh, chromes. One uh, a rookie and one a prospect. Hey, check those cards. I've gotten no 
Refractor, no color, no nothing, man. What's happening here? I don't know. Oh, I did get a <clears throat> refractor and I totally missed him. My Trayvon Robinson, which is a really cool picture. Oh, well, at least it's labeled on the back. Yeah. That, sometimes I can't tell. I'm not very good at that. Yeah. I don't know if I should be mentioning names or not. All the crumbs. Kevin Quackenbush. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, I've got the autograph in this box. Uh -huh. It's in my hand. Kenneth Peoples Walls is not the autograph. Uh, it is a Tyler Godell or Gadel base uh, autograph. And here's the thing about this. Look at that. that must, is that an ink smudge down there? It might be. Looks like you may have smudged the ink a little bit at the bottom there. That's okay, Trevs. Or ties. <laughs> uh, I got our first non chrome color. It's a Sean Gilmartin, numbered out of 499. Let's read a little something about Stephen Gruber here. I'm not gonna. Uh, it just says, this is the debut card of 2011 MLB <laughs> draft pick Stephen Gruber. Wow. All right. He uh, did very poorly for Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poor guy. He, drafted, he was drafted number seventh, the Twins' number one pick this year. Interesting. Here's a rookie I've never heard of. For the uh, World Series participants, Texas Rangers, Mark Hamburger, pitcher. Hey, Mike Moustakis, I know him too. One of the best, one of the best things about opening like the draft picks and, and, and Chrome, whatever you want to call them, is uh, just reading some of these new names and trying to pronounce them, and just seeing the wackiness. Like Charlie Furbush, we got in 2008, who's now like a rookie. So. Good pack here, Josh Colmenter, which is another good name, blue. Number to 4.99, and then followed up directly by a Bubba Starling base. Uh, he is the number one draft pick for the Royals, uh, number one overall, I believe. He's like the one guy I do know is good. Uh, Mike Moustakis Chrome, and behind that we have a red parallel Chrome. Michael McHenry rookie card for the Pirates. That's number two out of five. Dang! So we got a red parallel right there, which is awesome. That's pretty cool. And also is. right behind it, sorry to interrupt, Dante Bichette. Son of Dante Bichette. Love seeing that. Uh, they don't have Junior. I don't like when they do that. But anyway, Yankees prospect. This is Kyle Crick. If he ends up being famous and that's his rookie card, that's rough. Yeah, it's all right. I've seen worse. How about Daniel Vogelbach, third baseman, pace for the for the Cubs? He's really good. He's really good, but he's also really big. Yeah, he's, he's also a really um, big guy. This he's wearing sweatpants. Maybe he should just come up and play for us this year. He's wearing sweatpants. I mean, those don't work like out. Like trainers or something. something. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let it slide. I'm sure we've seen. I mean, look look at 1992 tops yeah. as examples of really bad rookie cards. I think Matt Ramirez in his T-shirt. Yeah, everybody in their high school portraits. So yeah. um, overall, we don't know how well we did until we let's say ever. four years from now. <laughs> um, We're actually we opened a box of uh, 2008. Bowman Crow a million years ago, yeah. and John's been keeping track of where those prospects are. Keeping tabs are. on the prospects. A lot of them are reaching the majors. Uh, some of them are actually doing okay, so, you know, we expect something similar out of this. Um, check out the blog, check out the progress on 2008 Bowman Crow prospects if you are interested in that. And, um, yeah, check out our blog for more box breaks, all kinds of goodness, alarms going off, and yep. um, Everything card-related that you can possibly imagine, you'll find at communitygum.com. Yeah, and you can tell us uh, if we got anybody good, because... Yeah, please. Probably not going to spend the time to look all these guys up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, bye. Bye.